Hi, Juanita. Hi, Julie. Can y'all hear me? <clears throat> got a cat here. <laughs> Roaming. I moved my monitor over, and so it's like now the cats are tempted to make a cut through. Hi, Becky. And I need to move this cord so it doesn't jiggle. All right, let me go behind my computer here. Um, because it'll jiggle. I think that'll work. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. Happy Marvelous Monday to you too, Julie. Let's see. We got Dawn, Becky Kalora. She spins Juanita, i.e. Littlefoot. Pamela. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. So I just laid these out to take pictures. I got a whole nother stack next to me. So, um, hi, Janet. Good morning. So my, um, if y'all didn't know, after mom passed away, a couple of months after that, my uncle Gary, my mom's brother, passed away. And uh, my Aunt Edie sent me all his bird books. Well, I don't know if she sent them all to me, but she sent me like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 12, 15 of his bird books. He was a uh, wildlife, he was a carver. He carved um, carved wood. And I've shown y'all my little mouse here that he carved here. This is his little mouse. It's a shelf mouse. It sits on the shelf and looks over like that. So, um, yeah. So he carved uh, decoys, birds, you know, ducks, and uh, all kinds of things. She sent me this little block that he'd cut in feathers into. So, um, yeah. So he was still, I guess, still working on this one. So she sent me this one. She sent me a whole bunch of stuff. She sent me all his pencils. She sent me all his color pencils. So she sent me, actually sent me two boxes. So I thought I'd show my Uncle Gary's bird books today and other books. I got some other books. I got, yeah, I got a whole bunch. It's book day, people. Sorry, Janet. It's book day, Janet. I've got lots of other books to show as well. So hi, Maseki. Oh, you got your dyes already, Maseki? Good. Okay, good. No news on the purple card, though. Okay. Well, I'm glad those came through. Sorry about the purple card. I don't have any more. I gave them all away, except the one in my book. So if they get lost in the mail, I don't know what to do. Um, sorry. I'm, I'm going to do green ones. Um, I might have an extra green one I can send you, Maseki. Um I'm going to show my green cards. I did show my green card. I'm going to show my green cards today. <laughs> um, I got uh, that I made. And uh, I did post them on Instagram. So I'm going to show these. I didn't, you know, when I posted the pictures of them, I should have turned one over. Because I did stamp the backs with my hand carved frog stamp. So I didn't do that. So I'm going to I'm probably show this in a little while. I kind of wanted to wait till next Wednesday to do the giveaway with the uh, green ones because St. Patrick's Day. So I'll probably wait till Wednesday to do the giveaway. But I have a bunch of other stuff to show. Zandra showed um, a Rolodex kind of thing. And so I pulled out one of my own Rolo old Rolodex things to show because uh, Zandra inspired me. What else? Oh, I got lots of stuff to show. I got lots of stuff. Hi, Pacola. Thank you. Where'd she go? Where's my little Snapdragon? There she is. <laughs> Thank you, Pacola. Uh, so let's see. Uh, oh, thanks, Maseki. Uh, I did make eight this time instead. I think I made six before. I think I made eight this time. So yeah, I made a couple extras. So, uh, Tony, who else am I missing? Kitty Jen, I said hi to Dawn. Rachel, hi, Rachel. I think I'm going to have to turn my heater down. It is getting warm in here. Hang on, guys. Let me go run down and turn my heater uh,
my my uh, art room is the warmest and the coolest. The vent that blows down in here is like right above the or right under the attic, so it's the first one that gets all the heat and <laughs> cool. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, Melly, <clears throat> Tony. Let me see how cold it is today. It got cold overnight. I had moved my my moved my herb garden into the garage. So it's fine. Let's see. How cold is it today? Right now it's 32. It was in the 20s. So it was in the 20s like last night, yesterday, like overnight. But it's in the <clears throat> it's 32 now, which that's pretty cold for Georgia. <laughs> <clears throat> just sipping my juice here um yeah so it's supposed to warm up to i don't know the 50s i think but it's sunny so that's nice hi missy hi cassie <clears throat> let's see i think i've got everybody hello lurkers good morning good morning lurkers to get a little maybe i need to brighten it up just a couple of there we go so i moved my uh i moved my monitor over to the left a little bit so it's more direct in my side instead of like over here now it's like right there so that but that means that the light my ring light i still have the big studio lights on and it's bright and sunny but i have a little ring light to the right of the monitor now instead of to the left of the monitor so maybe I need to move that over just a little bit more this way. There we go. That's better. So I don't have a shadow right here. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? You mean winter finally got here? <laughs> yeah, we got a little winter. Hi, Aunt Beck. Happy late belated birthday. Although I did say hi. To, I did say happy birthday to her on her birthday in her channel. Hi, Kimberly. Hi. Uh, let's see. Who else am I missing? So I guess I could get started in just a minute. So like I said, my uh, Aunt Edie sent me all of my Uncle Gary, who was my mother's brother, younger brother. And he um, he died like a couple months after mom did. And um, <clears throat> so Aunt Edie, who does, she does quilting. I have a beautiful... Um, Mary Inglebright quilt that she did and that she had done for mom. And so I do have mom's Mary Inglebright quilt. And uh, so that's her uh, artistic creative venue. And uh, so she does not do duck carving. So she sent me, and I don't either. And I asked her if she knew anybody that does duck carving. And uh, I guess she asked the duck, uh, the not just duck bird, Anyway, carving, animal carving, I should say. Uh, the society that he was in up in Washington State, and they said no, they, that they didn't want him. I guess they all have their own books. So she's, I told her to send them to me, and um, so she sent me all of Uncle Gary's, uh, well, I don't know if it's all of them, but she sent me a big two boxes full. And a few other things here. She sent me this little uh, pen, this pencil drawing kit. I don't know that he ever used it, but she did send me all his pencils. So <clears throat> I got lots of stuff to show, plus other books for uh, today that I got. And um, also this one, Colleen and Kathy uh, Berg um, enabled me to buy this one. So I'm going to show this one. Hi, Darlene. I know I'm missing people coming in. Um, hi. Uh, let's see. Darlene and Arlene. <laughs> so, and then I also got this one because a towel, tail, T-E-O-H, um, showed this on his channel. Uh, he did a review on this. And so I had to get this enabler tail. If y'all don't follow T E. O H. I forgot the rest of his name, but if you put in T E O H, he'll come up. Uh, he said, I think he's in Singapore, and he does a lot of urban sketching, a lot of watercolors, and he does book reviews. He's awesome. I followed him for years, and uh, so he showed this book, so I bought it. 
Oh, what else do I have to show? Um, my cards, my green set of art cards. I did get the um, at Books a Million. I got the Audubon Book of Mushrooms. It's really cool. These pages feel like Tome River. <laughs> feels like you know feels like the the hobonichi kind of paper in the back like they have the nice photographs glossy photos here and then they have this paper all right rachel that's for rachel hi there uh, Frank Salazar, Art Nation Frank. I have a bunch of uh, Frank zines that I've purchased. So if y'all want to support uh, a comic artist, Salazar, Art Nation Frank, right? Let me click on him. There he is. <clears throat> yes, all the leans are coming in today. We're all coming in lean today, Frank. We're all coming in lean. <laughs> Arlene, Darlene. <laughs> yes, that was an ASMR moment for um, Rachel likes her ASMR moments. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Frank. Yeah, y'all go follow Frank. Follow, follow independent creative artists because you know you don't if you if it's not something that you're going to uh watch every day or every other day if frank puts out videos or once a week you know you can still follow them to support them i follow a lot of artists and and like i said this before i find uh in, especially because they put up you know on the sidebar the uh recommendations and sometimes they're newbies you know i don't know how uh the algorithm works or anything but uh, there'll be newbies over in my recommendation. And I don't care if they have one or two followers. If I like their content, they do a sketchbook tour, they do something cool, I'll follow them. I don't care if they don't have thousands of followers. That's not why I follow people. I don't follow people because they have thousands of subscribers. I follow them because I like the content. I like what they do. So, and you know, you don't have to put them all on blast and get, uh, you know, every single video sent to you if you don't want to, but support, support your fellow creators, support them. Hi, Linda Renz. Hope, hope everything's going well with you and Tim. Um, let's see. Did I say how I said how to Dawn? Who else am I missing? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into, well, you know what? First I'm going to do, I'm going to move all the books over to the side. Here we go. <laughs> so she sent me a couple other things from him. And thank you, Aunt Edie. And uh, like I said, he carved this. This is like, like an in progress. I don't know what it was going to be, but I think I'm going to set my little mouse on top of it. The little mouse he carved. I think that'll look cute. Maybe this way, whichever way he stays the best on, because it's kind of a arch there. So I'm going to put my little mouse with him. So I'll put those over here. But I, I love that. And it's like he's still like maybe it was a test block. I don't know, but obviously it's not done. It looks like he did the pyro, you know, the pyrograph, py, pyrography. He did the pyrography. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> the wood burning. And so he did some of that on here. So I just think that's really cool. So I'm going to set that right there under my monitor. So, um, okay, back, run, run back. Run back, run. <laughs> the neighbors got, I think she said that her neighbors put up a fence and then they didn't they like, didn't like something in it. So I took it down. We're going to redo it. So in the meantime, Beck can't let her dog out. Hi, Linda. Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you for the super sticker. Thank you so much, Linda. That's so sweet. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate all the channel support. I really do. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. And I hope you and Timothy are doing all right. I haven't seen any updates in where you've posted. So hope he is. I know. Right, Pacola? So, yeah. Okay. So this is one of the little, I think it's a pattern in here. And Annie, you just sent it to me. I, you know, I, I just think it's kind of cool. 
So I think this is the pattern and the instructions. Or Yeah, there we go. So I guess this person sold like a little kit. So here's like the instructions, the shading and the burning. And then there's the, and then there's the, so I don't know if anybody does any wood burning. Does anybody do any wood burning? So I don't even know. Let's see. Is there a copyright date on this? <clears throat> I mean, it's, you know, somebody hand did, hand made this. This is really, is cool, but there's no copyright date on it. People need to date their stuff. John and Monica Webb in Montana. But I see no date. Pattern number 17. So, isn't that cool? <clears throat> so, she sent that. And then, I've had this before, years ago. And I have I still have the box. I use the box for uh, pencils and things. So, and I can't get anything else in that box. So, I think this is cool. It's like a brand new set of the Royal Lang Nickel uh, pencils. It's like a graphite set with the um, graphite sticks and the, um, the uh, I don't know, what are these, Con like Conti crayons. They're not Conti, the brand, but they're like that, drawing, drawing sticks. And then underneath the tray is the pencils and the different leads, you know, uh, the different, you know, BHB, 4H, and then the, the blending stumps, the sanding block, which he did look, he did use it once, and the eraser and the, so I don't know how often he used this. He obviously didn't use the sticks. So um, anyway, so I love these boxes. They're so useful for a lot of things. So she threw that in there. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to make room here as I go. My board's crooked or my camera is one. And then um, she sent me all those color pencils. So I think later on in his life, he didn't carve as much as he did earlier in his life and he loved color he loved my color pencils so he asked he gave me this was a few years ago um he uh, asked me about recommendations on pencils what kind of pencils hi terry and of course i told him prismacolor well she sent me his his prismacolor pencils she had them all wrapped up with pretty, she quilts, so they were wrapped up with real pretty bows. And uh, so I'll have to sort these, which I thought about just doing while I chatted with you, but I won't make you, um, yes, it is a quarter, it's 10 till nine now here, Terry. Uh, we sprung forward. So um, we sprung forward. So instead of 10 till eight here Eastern, it's 10 till nine Eastern time. So I thought about, because uh, I can I can sort pencils pretty quick. I don't know if y'all want to watch me. Rachel would love listening to this. So uh, <laughs> I have I have my watercolor palette sitting here because it kind of held everything to get in place so that I could um, they weren't they weren't rolling off the table. So let's see. But um, anyway, so I thought that was real nice of her to send me all his pencils. <clears throat> Let's turn these around this way. Here we go. So yeah, this will make Rachel's day. So how I have them sorted in my uh, silverware trays are the orange, yellows, reds, blues, greens, purples, and then I have a whole nother tray for neutrals because neutrals is what I use for uh, for portraits mostly. I mean, I use other colors too, obviously, but um, mostly I use, uh, I have a whole tray of just neutrals, like the grays, browns, beiges, you know, that kind of thing. Let's move the grays out on the other side there. So, yeah. <clears throat> So what's everybody else working on today or the, over the weekend? Did y'all do anything fun over the weekend? I think I have pinks and purples together in the tray. So reds, yellows, oranges. Let's see. Go ahead, sort them. I want to see how you sort them. Well, like I said, let me get my tray here. My, or my two trays. 
I also have mom's pencils. So I do have mom's pencils too. So they're, they need to be sorted. These pencil, these were just a set of um, uh, inexpensive pastel ones that I got. But like I have a few neutrals in here and I just have those bundled. And they are a little out of sorts here, like this gray. This gray needs to go in with the neutrals. Oh, here's a few. I think I had blues. Oh, I had some, I had some neutrals in here because I was using them. But I have the blue should be over here. Rachel, don't don't fall asleep on me now with the ASMR. Pinks, purples, light blue, then orange, red, yellow. See, there's a random gray. There's just random. They're a little out of order. Blue goes over there. Greens. See, I even have my little nubs. I had a whole jar of nubs, a big jar full of little bitty nubs that Cameron took. Cameron took my nubs. <laughs> okay, so there's orange. This is an orange. Greens. There's probably a few out of out of sorts. And those of you that have, uh, um, you know. OCD. I know y'all are going to be going, oh my gosh, fix that one pencil! But I don't think that they're going to fit in here. I'm, I'm going to have to take some of these grays out of the blue because I'm not going to fit any more blues in here if I don't. Plus, I have a lot of whites ones in here. I'm going to put the white ones down here. I'll move the grays back over to the neutral pile. Let's move the grays. There's a black, another white, another white. Another white. All right, I think I'm down to just the blues. Oh, there's a black. There we go. These these ones just need to be put on my shelf. That's what it is. <clears throat> so, hi, Elsa. Let's see. Salazar said, I colored a set of Masked Woman cards that I print out on cards. I made five sheets for Etsy and sold out recently. Just filling out that last order. Yay, Frank. Good for you. Um, and so look up Salazar Art Nation. I think that's the name of your Etsy, isn't it, Frank? Go follow Frank on his YouTube channel. Uh, and then you'll get uh, updates when he puts out uh, new zines and cards. Any of the, like, navy, not navy blue, but um, indigo blue, I always put a piece of tape around it because I have accidentally, I can't tell you how many times, used uh, indigo blue thinking it was black. That's uh, that's a no-no when you're when you're trying to do portraits and things. Putting in, uh, <laughs> putting in uh, uh, you know, pupils and things like that. So let's see who else am I missing. Hi, Flo. Good to see you, Flo. Good to see you. Hi, Nettie. All right. So I think I got those kind of sorted now. So let me go ahead and see here. I do have a couple orange ones that I need to move out of here. These are my neutrals. I think I used them for something over here. So I do have some orange that need to go over there. But these are mostly peach pink light kind of light pink here's a green that needs to go back over here here's a gray so i have the grays and then peaches brown some of them are out of order i mean they're you know i do go through every now and then and, and fix them there's a green um so these are my neutrals so let me set that up here for a minute let's finish doing this real quick I'll just grab a handful and just start sorting them real quick. I can do it pretty quick. So is this a brown? That's Tuscan red. Put the neutrals are over here on the side. You can't really see the neutrals very well. <clears throat> and this is a random, uh, I think this might go in the uh, set, the 4B. That's a 4B. Uh, graphite. Let's see. This isn't, I'll put that with the neutrals, green, purple. <clears throat> so yeah, don't anybody email me. I'll get, I'm sure I'll get an email, but uh, you spent all that time sorting pencils. 
I didn't want to see that. Well, I thought what I would do today is after I show the, um, is that a purple or gray? Gray. Uh, <clears throat> I would um, maybe draw something out of the, that's a new, I'll put that with the peach one. I would draw something out of one of the books, maybe. This one felt thicker for some reason. It's weird when you handle the pencils and you can tell when they feel a little different, just a little off. <clears throat> Black. So, go over there with the pinks and purples. That's a gray. Green. Oh, that's a green. 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 Pink. But, um, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I got lots of books to show and my art cards that I did last week, the green ones, and I will uh, do giveaways. I think I was going to wait till, um, gonna, that's another odd one here. It's a graphite, a general graphite. Oh no, that's a blue. Oh, I like that. Sea green. Color tech general. It's a general and it's a real pretty, kind of a little we'll sharpen that baby up and look at it. And um, maybe draw, draw something from the one of his books, from one of his uh, drawing books. There's a goal that's neutral. Uh, that's kind of a, I'll go with neutral on that. Orange, neutrals, neutrals, green, neutral. I'll just be real quiet for a minute. Last batch. I actually was out of this color, this kind of a bronzy green, so that's nice. Well, I say out of it. I've got some, I've got more of them stuck around the studio. Just have to dig them out. Okay. Oh. I think one of his dogs got a hold of this one. He also raised hunting dogs. Um, okay, so let's see. let's start with the neutrals here. I think that's a green. Yeah, it's a green. All right, so let's go ahead and put the browns, grays, beiges away here. <clears throat> it's not. It's kind of all right in here. This is kind of all browns and beiges and pinks right in here so let's just try to put the grays i'll probably have to put some grays over here too the gray's gonna fill up There's my neutrals. All right, blue. Let's see. Let's start with the yellow, yellow, orange, and reds. Going to fill this little thing up. There we go. All the pencils are sorted, and Rachel is happy. Okay, so <laughs> thanks, Aunt Edie, for sending me. Uncle Gary's pencils. And again, I had my little uh, <clears throat> watercolor tray sitting here holding the pencils. Okay, so let's see what's next. Maybe the bird books. So let's see. Put it in caps if you're talking to me. Hi, Kathy Carney. Um, CB. Make sure that you have Tony Campbell. Make sure you have a uh, live chat selected at the top. Otherwise, you won't see it all. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. 
Let's see, Terry Brett. Who else? About Ashley. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and show you this real quick. I'm going to show you this because this came this came first before that, but I I haven't had a chance to show you. So Colleen and Kathy Bird, they do they work out of this book. Two hundred. <clears throat> let me get a sip of juice. They work out of this book. 250 Joyful Art Journaling Prompts, Book One, by Jules Tillman Amador, and uh, Flip to Three. <clears throat> sorry, guys. Flip to three different pages and create endless art journal ideas with these creative prompts. And Colleen and Kathy Burke, uh, Kathy streams every Tuesday and Colleen streams on Fridays at 1030. Um, and I'll have my voice this morning. Uh, and, and so they, they do these um, prompts and they put them on, what do you call it, um, flashcards. They put them on flashcards. And they just, th there's three different sections. There's colors, then there's words, and then I think there's uh, techniques. And, and just, they're just different. Well, I did read it, but I don't remember the order of it. So what I'm doing with it, is yes, I'm gonna call. I was gonna color something today, Kitty Jen. Uh, I, I was going to either color or paint some birds today. <clears throat> if I get my voice, oh, let me tilt my monitor just a little bit. There we go. And uh, so I'm gonna put notes and mind map it as I go. So let me find one. I might have, I just, just started it and um. Like, uh, hmm, did I do one with the colors? I started doing things like with colors, things, things that are that color. Here's everything like, for instance, on the white one, cats, ermine, polar bear, sheep, rabbit, fox, owl, clouds, fog, mist, sea foam, snow, cotton. So anything that's white. And uh, so I'm going to just kind of write notes in it, kind of make it another part of Society of Idea Collectors for myself, you know, excuse a squeaky chair, but my 25 year old chair is not going anywhere. <laughs> I love this chair. Um, <clears throat> so, and, and I thought maybe we, I would work in it and I don't know, I'm not going to do flashcards with it, but I might do some art cards or something that might be kind of fun. I don't know. Um, I don't know what I'll do with it, but if you want to see uh, Colleen and Kathy work in this on flashcards, then if Pacola wants to put in both their um, YouTube channels, then she can do that. <clears throat> you have this book too, Kathy? Yeah, just write notes in it. Yeah, just write notes in it. Use, you know, and then back here where they have like crumble paper. And she says, then you could, uh, ink after you crumble it and flatten it out, you could ink it, add paint, draw, crumble a pattern paper and glue it down in your art journal, adding other elements. You know, there's little notes on the side over here. So um, <clears throat> not on the colors, though. So on the colors, I'm going to add my own notes. But like fair, draw a scene of a country fair, draw a woman with fair skin and hair fair weather so they give you some give you some ideas right so anyway there's that i just wanted to share that with you well cats can be any color but my cats are white jen <laughs> i have two i have two clouds right rachel so uh yeah so we'll do that okay then before i show the bird books i'll go ahead and talk about zandra I'm going to talk about Z. So she showed, before I throw this in there, out, out in the camera, she, and I don't know if that someone wants to put a link, if they, I didn't grab the link from her show, but um, she found somebody on Etsy that makes the little, uh, the like the little index, card. you know, remember the catalogs in catalog, card catalogs in the library, 
Well, somebody's made kind of similar little ones. Well, they're about this big. And on the front of them, they look like the card catalogs from the library. And they put the little, um, they put the little uh, bars in it to make it into a, a Rolodex type thing, right? Like a little Rolodex, um, like flip. And uh, so Z bought one, and then she also bought some, I think, from the same girl that made watercolor um, tabs to put in it, and they have different designs on them and everything. So if uh, there's Pacola put the link for Colleen and Kathy right there, and if you want to put the link for Zandra, her, and if you want to go see her Rolodex set, and, and things, it was just yesterday. Z Zandra was on just, thank you, there it is. So if you just look at Zandra's current um, YouTube channel, you'll see her Rolodex and she showed it and it's really cool, it was really cool. But what it did for me, it inspired me to get out this old baby. I don't even know how old this thing is. And it is, looks like this on the bottom. It's just a flat piece of uh, plastic, but it's got wide. And I'm going to take all this out because I'm going to do new stuff with it. But this is the old stuff I had done with it. And what this did, it came with cards. It came with chipboard cards, which I've painted and decorated. And the the whole, I don't think they make this anymore, guys. But look how, let's see if I can find a place. There we go. <clears throat> see, it's some, it's some uh, like uh, poly bars in there. And they're really thick and round. Oh, wait, ASMR moment. <laughs> and they're these thick uh, tubes of uh, plastic that are this big. <clears throat> and I forget who makes this. So if anybody remembers who makes this, I don't know if it was seven, no, what is it, seven gypsies? I have the seven gypsies spinner rack. I don't remember who made these, um, but it came with these chipboards. Oh, hi, Christopher, and thank you so much. Thank you, Christopher, thanks. <laughs> Christopher calls Janet and I his grandma. <laughs> Thank you so much, Christopher, for supporting the channel. <laughs> Good morning to you, too. If y'all don't follow Christopher, he has an awesome art channel, too. He does um, he does um, fat, speed it up uh, art, and he usually does, the, like, he's, what does it call a premiere, when you, you show your video and you're chatting um, in, the, in the audience, <laughs> in the chat. Anyway, Christopher has some awesome uh, drawings on his channel. So follow Christopher. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher, for supporting the channel. And yeah, Janet and I, your grandmothers, you're so cute. Uh, let's see, who else? Um, so I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. So I don't remember who made these, but uh, look, this is an old Bo Bunny tab. And then I just stuck some different things on mine and I have them all divided up in different, um, di different decorations and different, like, look at this uh, little, uh, somebody made me this little uh, crocheted little paper clip, but you see how big the, these, these ones are. And this is bigger than a, a postcard. This I don't think, I think this is bigger than four by six. Let me see. <clears throat> Maybe it is a four by six, four by, yeah. It's the size of a postcard. Damn it. So, and it came with these plain. They were just chipboard. You had to paint them, right? So, but I put all different kinds of things in here with different kind of tabs and just different kind of, uh, I punched my, well, I cut my own holes in, in these tabs. Here's one where I covered it with scrapbook paper. I think this is an old, this one's not Bow Bunny. This one is, I forget. Anyway, so I uh, have done that with all the, the tabs. Some of them have the tabs like this. And uh, so this was really fun in its day. But it's uh, since then, oh, here's a basic gray covered one. Since then, they've been just sitting on my shelf looking kind of pretty but not really doing anything so um i thought i would maybe make this do 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 over do a do over and one of the things that i thought would be 
because I had the Marlene set, which by the way, I did put a whole bunch of these in the bar book. Uh, and thanks everybody that participated in the bar book. Hopefully she'll get it this week. And um, thanks everybody that uh, sent Barb a note, letter, drawing, poem, quote, everything that y'all did for Barb. And I added a whole bunch of these art by Marlene punch outs to her book. But what I thought this would be also nice is like, for instance, here, let me show you this one. To use these is if I redid a new one of these, <clears throat> thank you, Xander, for inspiring, is to add the, add, um, add uh, some of these to the tops. So Xander's painting, watercoloring all her tabs, but I'm not going to probably do that. So what I thought would be fun is to uh, attach some of these uh, art by Marlene uh, little punch outs to the tops. It doesn't have to be hers. I mean, you can add anybody's anything, right? But I thought this might be kind of fun to do a whole new set a fresh set with, uh, you know, new cards and use the art by Marlene to have them sticking up out of the top like that. Isn't that cute? Cute. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that. All right. So thank you, Sandra, for that inspiration. And let's see. Let's move that over there. This can go over here. Uh, I'm looking around, seeing what else I have. I probably will find something else. Oh, yes, I do have one other book. Before I show the bird books, I'll go ahead and show this book that Tell T E O H is how he uh, his name, and then there's some more to his name. But if you put in T E O H, you will find him on YouTube. He has a pretty big channel, and he does a lot of urban sketching in, I believe, Singapore. And he also does book reviews. He does a lot of things with watercolors, watercolor reviews. And I know Janet already follows him. But anyway, he did a book review on, um, and I think that he goes by Katsua, Katsua, and then Terra, 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 I don't know, I'm saying that totally wrong, but I think it's the back, you know, reverse, and uh, I love this book, and it is, um, I got it off of Amazon, and there are, I'm going to be careful because it's a, they do have some nudity in it. So I'm going to show you the, I'm not going to do a review of it. If you want to see a whole review of it, go watch Tails, Tails uh, <clears throat> review of it. Okay. So hi Tess, anybody else I missed? So it's uh, awesome manga and just sketch sketches. It, uh, it, it kind of reminds me of um, Pop Manga Girl. What's her name? Um, I can't think of her now. If somebody wants to remind me of her name. I have her color books. I have her art books. I have her drawing books. The Pop Manga Girl. Anyway, <clears throat> this kind of reminds me of it. So let me kind of uh, peek before I show. Well, let me just kind of do a flip just so you can kind of see. So you can kind of see it's very, it's his, it's they're out of it, things out of his sketchbooks. Like there was that one right like here. Let's see here. Well, you can see that where he's tore, tore it out of his sketchbook to photograph it. But I mean, look at this. This is just really amazing. I love sketchbooks. Y'all know I collect, I have a good collection of sketchbooks. If y'all ever want me to pull out all my sketchbook art books i can do that sometime you see where he's torn them out <clears throat> and then there are a few page color pages in here tinted some are tinted some are on um tan tone paper but uh, tao did a full-on review of this so if you want to see it in more in depth Go watch his, if someone wants to put uh, his, Janet, can you find his YouTube channel, T-E-O-H, his YouTube channel? And uh, so, yeah, it's awesome. It's an awesome book. I love sketchbooks, and I do have a, a quite a collection of sketchbooks by other artists. Because, you know, it's the way I roll. <laughs> 
I know. Isn't it nice? Camilla Del Reco. Thank you. Thank you. That's the uh, pop manga girl. Thank you, Juanita. Camilla Del Reco. I have like three or four of her color books. I have her pop manga book or how to draw book. She, I got, I don't, she has a new one coming out. Let me see. I think I have it in my cart. I think it comes out next month. I think. Let me go over to Amazon. And thank you. God, thanks for asking, guys. I will show you. I did do a little video of my floors. Uh, I wasn't here Wednesday because I was having my new floors installed. And they had to do a leveler, a, a cement concrete leveler that took overnight to dry before they could do the floor. So I couldn't stream on Wednesday. So thanks, everybody, for understanding. Let's see. Do I? Uh, yeah, here it is. She's going to do a pop manga dragons and mythical creature coloring book. I think it's a coloring book. Yeah, coloring book. So when it comes out, is it, come, is it out now? Let's see. Hang on. Uh, maybe it's available now. No, released May 17th. May 17th, but there's a picture of it. Thank you, Juanita. I cannot think of her name. <clears throat> let's talk about, <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about dust covers. So funny, Jane. I did, uh, I did get the books to go in the dust covers for my Lord of the Rings set. <laughs> so funny. Y'all did, y'all missed that one. If you miss that one, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh, I do have something else to show. Hubster Texas Alaska Magazine, which has really gotten kind of thin. <laughs> it's gotten really thin these days. <clears throat> but um, anyway, let me uh, show you this artist here. He, he brought it to my attention. He goes, look at this. So, um, and I read the, I read the article. I didn't read every single, uh, note about each painting, but what she is, she did is her name is Marcel Foxley Roman. Eh, there you go. I'm not going to try to, I'll butcher her name. Um, but anyway, uh, she lives in Alaska and what she did is, um, she would, she loved the fishing and the boating world in Alaska. So what she would do is work, um, worked the boats and she did become a ship captain a boat captain uh fishing boat captain in uh she would do that in the summers and she'd go to college in um, was it montana where'd she go to college anyway she'd go to college in the winter and then she'd come back every summer and do her uh boat you know fishing boat so what she did is she um i think it was her uncle that found a bunch of old charts and maps from her that her father or grandfather had tucked away in an attic. So what she did is she started painting on those old maps and charts. So isn't that cool? So she started painting on top of them. And uh, let me see where I'll go. Um, here we go. Um, she started painting on top of them. And so I thought that was really cool. Um, <clears throat> so as she grew older, her love for the Alaskan waters progressed. She landed her first job as a deckhand in the quirky yet quaint little town of Whittier. Though she left for Montana State University to pursue a degree in art education during the winter months, she returned to Whittier each summer to work on boats. In 2014, she achieved her status as a boat captain. Ever since, she has worked captaining vessels each summer, including for major marine tours on Resurrection Bay in Seward and taking winter sabbaticals to focus on creating her art. <clears throat> so, see, they're all painted on charts. Pull out all your art sketchbooks. Okay, I'll make it. I'm not going to do it today, Jen. I've got enough other books to show today. I got all my uncle's um, f waterfowl birds, and uh, <clears throat> but I'll make a note. Let's see, sketchbooks. Okay, I made a note to do that. Um, <clears throat> 
also, I just love how she did her paintings on top of those. Does it say if she's watercolor or acrylic? Let's see. I'm looking under each one. It doesn't say. And see, that's another thing that I hate that when magazines don't put the size. They did not put any sizes of their work in here either. And, and that was kind of frustrating to me. I don't know if it says. Let me look. I'll skim it here. So that's when her grandfather, large stack of nautical charts. Um, I don't remember. I read this. I didn't read each one of the descriptions of the paintings, but um, I don't think it says. But here, she has a website, and she's also, I think, on Instagram. But it's M, the letter M as in mom, Foxley Art, just like Foxley, M foxley art.com so she has a website so it probably will say over there but it doesn't say the size i don't see where it says what medium she uses yeah i don't see what it says but there's a lot of her art in here so it's probably on her website so but isn't that cool look at that I wish it said the sizes. So, yeah. So, I wanted to share that with you guys because I thought that was really interesting. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't say Pocola. Okay, so what else? Looking around. Well, let me go ahead and show you my... Uh, I'm going to do a giveaway on Wednesday because that's what St. Patrick's Day is on. What day is St. Patrick's Day on? Uh, because the green, you know, I thought it would be nice to do a giveaway of a uh, green card. <laughs> I guess it sounds so funny. Green art cards. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is Thursday. So <clears throat> we'll, we'll do a giveaway on Wednesday. So I did finish up my art journaling page and uh, in the olive green. And then I made all these cards. So I'll go ahead and flip through them. It looks a little flashed out. Does it look a little too bright? Let's see. No, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. <clears throat> and I did stamp my frog, hand carved stamp frog on the back. And I did put a word on each one. So I did eight this time, so I had a couple extras because I do like to send out a couple to, you know, people that uh, uh, extra, extra, extra people. <laughs> so, yeah, and I'll show them again on Wednesday. So we'll do the we'll do the giveaway on Wednesday. So I did olive green. What is it, baby? I hear you. What is it? You gonna come up here? There's no room, is there? Let me move the books. Okay, there you go. Come on. And I had a little bunny on this one just because I saw that sticker and it was so cute. So anyway, we'll do that. Um, we'll do this on a Wednesday. My one aunt used to do oil paintings when she was sibling. <clears throat> okay, so. Yes, my little cloud. What is it, my little cloud? What is it? Going to have to move so Mama can show books. Okay, so my Aunt Edie sent me my Uncle Gary's uh, bird books. So let me just show you. Let me show you the carving ones first. Then I'll show you the drawing ones. So, yeah, songbird painting, bird carving basics. And some of these are old, quite old. He's been doing carving animal carving decoy he carves decoys i mean like the fancy kind of decoys <clears throat> the the collectible kind of decoys he ca carved those so look at the little whiskers so yeah no baby that's not a real mouse don't get any ideas i oh, know you're just a purring 
<laughs> so this one is songbird painting. And again, I don't know if I have all the, uh, let's see, this one came out, this one's from 93. Why, why is my lighting adjusting so much? It's because I have this big stack. Let's move the stack down. There we go. So, <clears throat> but anyway, I won't get too in depth with them, but this one is carving little birds. And uh, I just didn't want these just to end up, you know, in a yard sale or something. So my Aunt Edie sent them all to me. Again, I don't know if she sent me all his books, but she sent me a lot. So, I mean, look look how you can carve and paint such detail. If you have any questions, put it in caps, guys, so I see that you're talking to me. Yes, I know, Rachel, right? So this is a little songbird painting, bird carving basics. How to carve waterfowl. And a lot of these are hardbacks. I know we got them when they first came out, I'm sure. Uh, this one was uh, 1984. And uh, how to carve wildfowl. Nine North American masters revealed the carving and painting techniques that win them international blue ribbons. And there's all their names right here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do a flip so you can see. I know there's some color pictures in there somewhere. But how to carve them, how to lay them out, how to sketch them. Baby. <laughs> He's sniffing the book. So this one's very technique oriented. And uh, how to carve wild, wild fowl. So this is the kind of thing he would carve. He carved very detailed uh, duck, geese, um, decoys. Okay, making wood decoys. Patrick Spielman. And this one was. Do you, do you plan? On, no, I don't. I've, I've done some uh, basswood flat carve. You know, kind of like you do your carts. You carve out stamps, rubber stamps. I've done that kind of relief kind of carving just a few years, many, many years ago. Um, but I don't haven't done it since. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This one's 1985. I'm just going to flip through all the different tools, patterns. See, this is how they start out. I've also seen some TV shows. You can probably find them on uh, YouTube. See, it starts out like this, just blocks of wood. But I bet they have on. I bet they have carvers on YouTube. If you all are interested in really seeing how somebody works it, um, my daddy lost sculpture. Uh, let's see, Arlene said. Uh, let's see, Rachel says mine ended up like blocks of wood. <laughs> and then this one is waterfowl carving blue ribbon techniques. And this one came out in 1982. He's been doing, I'm telling you, he's been doing it for, he did it, he did it for years. So um, I thought that these, look, look at that. That would be fun just to draw these, right? The wings. You can make them, turn them into angel wings or different creature wings. This cool is much smarter to not let Ashley near a tail. <laughs> Ashley. Anyway, so, and, and some of the different ones and how they've been displayed. Look at that. I'm telling you, he was, he could, he was right up there with these guys. I'm, he was, a, he's a, he was an amazing carver. I don't know how many um, he sold and how many my Aunt Edie might still have. I didn't ask her, so. Uh, let's see, Jane, who else am I missing? <clears throat> okay, this one's Waterfowl, the Artist's Guide to Anatomy, Attitude, and Color. But look, look at this, guys. Just kind of look at that. Isn't that amazing? The clouds laying down asleep right over here. 
This one's 1983. So a lot of patterns and ideas and very, I mean, they're very simplistic patterns because I guess, you know, it's all about the, it's all about the carving and the details. So different feet. This is just a, light, a nice reference book. Look at this. Ducks and bills and feet. Oh my, look at this. The different kind of duck bills for the different kind of ducks. Isn't that cool? And then the different kind of feet for the different kinds of ducks. Then here's the different kind of wings, puddle ducks, diver ducks. Color reference charts. Feather accents. Feather. Oh, he he used to carve feathers. Mom had some of his feathers. I never did find those in her house. I don't know what happened to. She had some of his feathers. <clears throat> so yeah. So that was a good reference one. Wild fly, wild wildflower. Wild fly, <laughs> wild. Fowl art carvings from the champions. Look at this, guys. Look at that. That is a carving. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah, Rachel. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Never thought about some so many different looks to bills and feet. I know, right, Becky? And uh, so this one, let's see what year this one came out. <clears throat> 1996. I mean, this has got some beautiful, look at that. Is that, is that a king? I think it's a kingfisher. Yeah. Look at that kingfisher. <clears throat> Just stunning. <clears throat> stunning, stunning work. They look like paintings, don't they? I don't know too many people that would take, I'm, I can't even imagine the hours put into these, each one, you know, I just can't even imagine hours. I'd like to find some young people that, that are interested in it. <clears throat> then painting duck decoys. This one is a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Dover book. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. This one came out in 85. So here's like looking at it from the top and the side so you know what it looks like to carve it. Oh, it looks like it's got, oh yeah, look, lots of different. Very cool. Let's see. VK Calligraphy. Hello, VK. Did I follow you last week? I don't remember. Welcome. His name seems familiar. I thought maybe I followed you last week. Do you uh, do, you do calligraphy on your channel? So just lots and lots of different top and side views that's put out by Dover mm. uh, let's see then carving hummingbirds 
hummingbirds were my mom's favorite bird. Well, I think grandma's too, but I know my mom's. She, they both always had hummingbird feeders in their yard. This one came out in 1996. So just different, all the different tools. And, and I'm sure the tools have been probably improved. Although this just looks like a Dremel to me. I have a Dremel. <laughs> Not that I'm going to do this, but I do have a Dremel. Um, so very, this is very technique oriented with what kind of uh, tools and glues and things like that. <clears throat> Okay, then painting waterfowl. I know, right, Rachel? Step-by-step, -step, full color instructions for 13 projects. Painting waterfowl. This one came out in 1991. So you can see, again, step-by-step -step painting. Hi, Lady Celtic Moon. How you doing? They always will say, how you doing? I can almost almost did a bubbly Edna there. How you doing? If y'all don't follow Comic Book Hut, he's already, uh, uh, he showed his, uh, announced it last week, his uh, col uh, comic book project. Comic Book Hut. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, just look at the detail. Painting this. I mean, it's just fantastic information if you're a, a carver or a decoy painter. <clears throat> I think most of them do both. They carve and they paint their own. <clears throat> I like Barb um, Clausman. He uh, carved the Santas and Barb painted them. Hi, Julianne. How you do? How you doing? I got I to quit. I can't do it. I, I don't have that New York accent. Let's see. Um, Herbie. Hi, Herbie. I know. Aren't they beautiful books? Okay. Then these are drawing and painting books, not carving ones. So she sent me a stack of these. So this one is drawing birds with color pencil. And I think he would have got this one kind of later because uh, I know he wasn't, he wasn't doing color pencil. This is, came out 2008. Uh, like oh, he was doing carving way before. So, but I thought maybe we might do one of these today. I might not do it in pencil. I might just do it on maybe some acrylic paint. Well, maybe paint. Y'all know I always add color pencil, but maybe do uh, some acrylic painting and uh, maybe we'll pick one of these and do it. An acrylic painting with detail with pencil. Look, these are great practice for um, detail. Um, yeah, hi, Dot. Yes, our clocks went forward. We sprung forward. Look at this cardinal. Look, they show you the color, the pencil. Um, they show, it says color pencil in the names, but I'm not sure what pencils they're using. Let's see, are they using, uh, uh, they're using Derwent, looks like, Derwent. I'm just seeing if they reference uh, Prismacolor. It looks like they're using Derwent. So, and the sketching supplies. All right, so let's go back. <clears throat> but I might just do a, a little painting and pencil detail, like big. We should do it big. I should get out a piece of uh, the uh, big craft paper, the scroll, the art scroll. But this one's really nice with details for color pencil. Look, they give you every color pencil. Goldfinch. There's a hummingbird. Look 
Look at that pretty blue bird. And you'll see the lighting. Did the light get dark? It goes light and dark depending on my sun coming through the window. Let's brighten this up just a little. I think this is throwing a shadow on it, too. I love those guys. Look at that. Cedar wax wings. Cactus wren. Oh, the quail. I've done some quail. I, I sent one of the uh, paintings that I did. Well, it's just, a, I should say it's a sketch. I did it on the, uh, I think I'm pretty sure I did it on the uh, craft roll. And I sent it to uh, Lady True North Jan on Quail Hill. Because she lives on Quail Hill. So, but I might do another. Let's put a little post-it note here for the quail. There's a warbler. Oh, and the crest kestrel. That's cute. So anyway, and then they have different charts on the metric conversions and different things. So yeah, drawing birds with color pencil. Karen Poole. Or is that Karen? Karen Poole. Hi, Tina. Tina's putting in good morning to everybody. <laughs> good to see. Did you forget? Did you forget to spring forward, <laughs> Tina? <laughs> There's the hut. Hey hut. Hey yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try to do a New York accent, bubbly Edna. I just I am not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, follow the comic book hut over on YouTube and uh, support his new color, uh, new uh, comic book. I actually keep on saying color book because we're coloring comic book project. Uh, <laughs> hi. Hi, I can't do it, hot. Don't make me. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> then he makes fun of me on his show because I don't do it right. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to lay that book aside. I'm just showing all the books that my Aunt Edie sent me from my Uncle Gary who passed away and he was a, a wildlife carver. Here's one of his little mice right here that he carved. Isn't it so cute? And it's a shelf now, so it sits on the shelf and looks over the edge. So I have him sitting right here. So I'm just showing all the books that she sent me. Uh, and I think I have this one. I might have these two. I know I had, I had, I don't know if I still have, I had this one in a hardback, but I might have given it away because I give away a lot of books if I don't feel like I'm going to use them. New York. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Amelia. Let's see. <laughs> you do make fun of me. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. All right. So this one is Drawing America's Wildlife. And let's see what year this one came out. This one. See, they started moving uh, it, the, uh, oh, here we go. I was going to say later, it seems like they've been putting the uh, information in the back. I don't know why, but I like it when it's in the front. Um, but, I, oh, here we go. Copyright 1998 re and redone in 2003. So first published in 1998. <clears throat> But look at the little, these would be fun to sketch, just the little animals here. Again, lots of, uh, lots of uh, sketching options. Maybe we'll sketch some of these. I was supposed to take on to an appointment. She had me cancel. Okay, I did not see your message. That's okay, Tina. Yeah, I didn't check a lot of stuff this morning before I got on. So, thank you, Debbie Bruce. I know, right? So, look at all these. Look at all these sketches. I love sketches and sketchbooks. That's why I collect them. You know, I collect sketches and sketchbooks from other artists. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, yeah, lots of uh, lots of drawings can be done from these. How I usually paint these and draw these and paint these on um, 
on the show is on the art scroll. Well, I used to keep it on a scroll, you know, shipping paper and I'd unroll it and we'd work on it. And then it, but it was so hard to get back to the places where you'd worked on. So I just started cutting, cutting them out. And I have a bunch of sheets cut somewhere. Let me look around here. Somewhere I have a bunch of sheets cut and flattened to work on on stream. We haven't done it in a while. Hi, Devin. <clears throat> Anybody else I missed coming in? Lisa? Icy? Hi, Icy. Isn't this cool, though, guys? Look at all these. I mean, it's just a whole book of this. You know, drawing photographs. And then look, here's some bears. And uh, I know I haven't, well, I don't know. Have I shown it recently? Back, you know, I think it was even before I started streaming. I'm pretty sure it was. They had a show, Sunrise Earth on TV, on cable, I think. Uh, Sunrise Earth. And they would show different scenes from far away. They'd show the sunrise real far away. And then they'd start zooming in and then they'd stay on each shot for about a minute and then tell you were zoomed right up on something, an animal. And I would watch and the show was about 30 minutes long, I think. And I would draw along with Sunrise Earth just in just in pencil. And uh, I'd take notes on color and stuff like that. I'll pull that back out if I can I don't know where it is on my shelf back here. And I would draw, um, I would draw along with Sunrise Earth. I think it's on YouTube. Um, I think they're on YouTube. But the ones I saw on YouTube, and I haven't checked lately, but a few years ago I checked on uh, YouTube for Sunrise Earth, and they only had like five minute ones or something. It wasn't the like the original ones where it was like thirty minutes long. Look at these. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Awesome. I did a elk last, I think it was last Christmas or the Christmas before with uh, Christmas lights drawn all in his uh, antlers. This is a good one for sketching. Really good. Um, thank you, Tina. Let's see, where's that? Do I have that sketchbook? Where is it? I'm looking on my shelf. <clears throat> I think it's holding, I think it's actually holding up a shelf. <laughs> the sketchbook might actually be holding a shelf up because my shelf kind of collapsed. So I think it's holding up a shelf. So I really can't show it. I don't think it's this one. I think it was a black sketchbook. What's this one? Yeah, I can't show you right now. But if you probably go back in my playlist and look up sketchbooks, you can see it. Okay, so that one is really cool. All right, next, painting the drama of wildlife. And I know I did have this one at one point. I don't know if I still have this one. Um, oh, the ISB on drawing America's wildlife. Okay, let me see here. <clears throat> one, five, six, five, five, two, three, two, zero, three, eight. <clears throat> I think I said what year it came out, didn't I? Did I say what year this one came out? I don't know if I did. Yeah, first published in 1998, second published 2003. Okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> it does, because it's holding up. I mean, it's literally the shelf is resting on that hardback sketchbook. <laughs> and uh yeah i don't think i can let's see here i'm pretty sure that is the sketchbook do i have another one that i could pop in there Oops. i don't know hang on guys let me look over here on my shelf i think i have another one that's the same size i could put in there let's see if i can do this hang on I don't know if I can. I got my big studio lights right here. Let's see if this one will prop it up instead. There we go. Okay. 
All right, I think that worked. I hope this is one. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get that. All right, All right. it worked. I put another one in there and put pulled the one out. Is this it? Yeah. <laughs> This is holding up a shelf, but I had another one that was just a little bit taller. So I put that other one in. I went like that, and it popped the shelf up, and this one slid right out. So I'll, let me finish the books, and then I'll show you this. All right. I'm almost, I've got about four or five left. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, well, I didn't have to do anything. The sketchbook did all the work. Okay. So this one. Drama of Wildlife Step by Step. Terry Isaac. Um, this one came out 1998. 99. I had the hardback of this one. I did. I don't know if I still do. I probably do. It might be on my shelf. So, capturing special moments in nature. So, a lot of, you know, photographing your, your subject. Planning a composition. Oh, look at this. And that be that's a painting right there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful. Look at those flowers. So I'm gonna kind of just flip here. Look how to set up a space. That's so cute. So these are just different paintings, how to do fur, wet fur pattern fur here's an eye we've done quite a few eyes on the show it's been a while since we've done one um, raindrops water drops rocks snow special effects look at that look at that oh uh, uh, awesome amazing thank you tina <clears throat> And photographs like these are also good if you do your color book. Um, you know, if you have a color book with animals and things, you can always look look up uh, how to. It's you know, if you look them up on your phone or your iPad, and you can pinch and grab, and you can make it this big. It's so easy to see colors that way. Where um, you know, but a book you always have it you right there with you. Well, if you have a place to keep your books, so there's different. Uh, and I'm skipping through quick. But here's like a step-by-step -step of a tiger in here. So that's painting the drama of wildlife step-by-step. -step. Oops. All right. Ugh. All right. Let's see what's next. This is Pheasant. Pheasants Forever magazine, 2019. And it's uh, just different uh, hunting, uh, hunting pheasant with your dogs. <laughs> it's like a catalog in the back. She threw that in there. Don't anybody get? Don't anybody email me? Game birds. How to paint game birds? So brushes, painting surface. Oh, let me tell you the year. This one came out, nineteen ninety. Different brushes. Step-by-step -step painting. Pheasant. Patterns, if you want that. So that's how to paint game birds. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Birds of the World, Game Birds. This one came out. This cal old calendar picture in there, I guess, because he liked that picture. That's something I would do. I'm trying to find. Okay, 1989. <clears throat> and again, I'm just going to flip through here. A lot of photographs of the birds for you to, for reference, you know, reference book. Turkeys. A lot of reference photos in this one. Look at this one. This would be fun to do all those little 
those little, uh, I don't know what you call that part of his neck. You know, the wobbler. <laughs> oh, my God, turkey. But all that texture. All that texture. I like that. I'm going to put That would be a fun one to sketch because of the detail. Another quail. This is California quail. Oh, look. He had one in there, too. He had one. But he did carve quail. So there's that one. And then the last one is Game Birds, Charles Coles, illustrated by Maurice Pledger. And this one's huge. This one cost 40 bucks back in 1988. So this is like a coffee table book. The Waddle? Is that what it is? It is the Waddle? Okay. <coughs> Let me get a sip of my juice here. I gotta show y'all my floors. Why well, I wasn't here Wednesday. Canada, Canada Goose. And again, I'm showing it backwards, but this is there's some good ones in here. Look, this turkey. So it's kind of like, reminds me of Audubon, you know, the Audubon bird book. This one's not quite as big, but it's pretty big. So, yeah. Game birds. Okay, so. Um, oh, let me show you my uh, floors real quick. I did a little video for the family. So I'll show, I'll show you all my little video for the family. <laughs> um yes i do love my floor cb we already i didn't do a pic i didn't do a video of the man cave of the den which is right off the kitchen two steps down it's already it had already been done so that room is done too but i didn't show that so the only room downstairs that's not done is the library because that means moving all those books so when i I'm thinking about putting new bookshelves in the great room. And if I do that, then I can move all my books out of the library and then uh, do that floor. So we'll see one step at a time. Let me find my, okay. So here we go. Okay. So here is the completed trying to get it floors before we put in tables and, rugs and everything in here it's just the floors and then right here's the entryway right there then coming into the kitchen and see the dining the den is that away excuse me reuben <laughs> reuben reuben was a guy putting in the floor so it looks amazing they did a great job all right i'll i'll play it one more time Come on, play. Play again. Wait a minute. Okay, so here is the completed floors before we put in tables and rugs and everything in here. It's just the floors. And then right here's the entryway. Right there. I haven't got the tables or anything put back in at that time. Coming into the kitchen. Oh. Excuse me, Reuben. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> there we go. So it looks amazing. They did a great job. So, yeah, there's my uh, new floors. Thanks. I think they look great. Hi, Uncle Dan. Yeah, and uh, so got that done. And then the stove went out. So we had to go get a new stove over the weekend. Yeah, so we got a new stove, too. Okay, so this is the book that I did back in... I don't know my phone number showing. Um, this is the book I did back in... <laughs> Cam did that when he was a little kid. These are from 2009. Okay, so these are from 2009. And again, let me kind of preface it by saying... Let's see, do I need to brighten this up? Because it's white paper. 
maybe a little. So what it was is <clears throat> Sunrise Earth, <coughs> it was on Discovery, and uh, it came on for, I think, I think 30 minutes. So it would start with like this. It would start way off and you'd see the sun sunrise. Okay. And again, these are all just pencils. Then <laughs> what are you going to do? Come up and fix it, Tina? <laughs> He's nuts. Anyway, so again, these are from 2009 just with a pencil. And I did them with the, uh, <clears throat> I guess, sip of juice here. The um, I'm pretty sure I use my woodless graphite, which let me see if I have one sitting here. Do I have a woodless graphite right here? I love woodless graphite. I don't know if I have one in my carry out. Um, but anyway, they're just like a pencil wrapped in plastic and it's all just graphite. There's no eraser and you just sharpen the whole thing. I have them, but I'm not seeing one right here. Let me look at because uh, I know someone's going to go, what's that? What's a woodless graphite? But I don't know if I can put my hand. Oh, wait, is that one? No. Hang on. I'm looking up here on my, <clears throat> my pencils area, but I'm not seeing one. Well, here's the giant ones. These are, these are graphite sticks, but it's just a pencil. It's all graphite, and I'm not seeing the individual one. So I don't want to take all day to look for it. So anyway. So there's no erasing going on is what I'm, my point. There's no erasing. It's just all sketching as the show goes forward. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> so first it's way far away. Then it zooms in and then it zooms in a little closer than it until you're finally like right up on each individual animal. Right. So uh, this one was the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. And so I would write notes because I didn't do any coloring. Remember, you're, you've got about a minute on each picture. So whatever you draw, you got to draw fast. So like, for instance, here on the, the shark, there's a white tip. This is a white tip shark on the bottom. Um, right there's a white tip and it always returns to the same cave. So they would be they would be posting information um, like returns to the same cave, they would be posting that information uh, in in text, right under under the the zoom ins. So they would show something, and then they would talk about uh, where they lived or what they you know what they did. But I would make all my own notes. Like here's the types of coral, the colors. Um, the different kind of fish they zoomed in on and you have to draw fast, but this is great practice. And the same thing, if you go to a zoo or uh, the aquarium, which, you know, we did all that too, but, um, and, and draw from life. <clears throat> this is not as good as drawing from life, but it's, you know, it was the best, best thing that I could do every morning at 7 a.m., drawing for however long 30 minutes I, I forget how long it might say somewhere okay so then the next one was this was in um where is this one this was in uh the craters in hawaii i think yeah kala laku kala haluku overlook so it starts out way far away from the um, sunrise. And so I quickly did the sketch of the sunrise. And then there was these jagged hills. And I wrote all these notes and the different rocks and the lava because they're made from the lava. And then here's these little crater hills in the valley. And then the different grasses and all that. Just wrote notes. And this one is 10,000 feet above the Pacific Ocean in Maui. And so then it close up of the um, the kind of partridge they have there and all the different little bushes. I don't know if this is interesting. I've shown this before and I think it's been a while, but uh, yeah, so I would draw every, every day. Some, there's a couple of them that have two pages, but most of them just a page. I would just like try to contain it on a page, 
And then this one was in uh, French Polynesia, Society Island, the ancient volcano crater. So again, started out with the sunrise. And then I wrote notes like this is the volcanic rock going right into the sand. Do little details of some of the crabs. And uh, you got to draw fast. Those, those crabs aren't sitting there posing for you. They're moving. <laughs> They're moving around. And then the egret, uh, purple and yellow legs, yellow eyes, and an orange beak. <clears throat> so, again, these are just quick sketches. Then this one, wait, did I miss one? Let's see. Yeah. This one was New Zealand frost. So, this was all white. This was all a big ice snow day. <laughs> so it started out with the lake and then it showed the mountain and some of these um, little, uh, I'm not sure what kind did I write down the kind of uh, birds these were. And uh, oh, here's, this is where it started out with the sunrise coming over the cliff there. And some of the trees, there was one little house, frosty trees and grasses, everything was white. Then this one was uh, going through the Venetian canals in Venice. And what it was is the camera was on a on one of the gondolas. Well, I think it was on a gondola. It was on a boat. You didn't see really what you were on, but it was going through the canals and it was moving. So you're moving through the canals of Venice, going under bridges. These were like some of the windows on the side. You're moving. So you don't have a lot of time. But every time it went under a bridge, I drew the different bridges that we, we went under. And then here's some of the windows and the iron railing. And, the, and I did have a two-pager on this one. So, again, it's, you know, just going through, going through the canals. And then here's uh, some of the different boats I saw. And uh, another bridge reflected in water. There's 150 canals. There's pigeons sitting on the ledge. Um, so see, sometimes you just got to draw real quick. <clears throat> but it makes you draw faster when you did something like this. And again, these are from 2009. I can't believe how long ago that was. But yeah. And then here's... Uh, these right here are the Japanese gardens in Ritsu. Uh, anyway, there I wrote it down right there. And it's a Japanese garden. And there's this little bridge here and the people are standing up there. And then it shows it's from far away. And then they zoom in. They almost zoom in on the koi fish and the fish in the ponds and the lily pads and, you know, all that. And this is some more of that, the Japanese gardens, the pagoda and the the different um, plants and birds, a great blue heron. Again, you're drawing these quick because everything is moving. I know, right? <laughs> right, Tina? And then this is the wooden walk bridge. This is what it looked like, the detail, but it kind of went like this, and but each one looked like that. Then the irises. Then this was the Desert Arches in Arches National Park in Moab, Utah. So again, starts out far away. Then, there, then there's this. And then it's like here. And then it's close up. So I really like this one. This one was one of my favorites that uh, I did uh, drawing these. And uh, so, yeah, just, just draw and uh, sketch while the thing's moving. This one was a Norway near the North Pole. Again, this was all ice, all ice sheets. There was a, a ship stuck in the, stuck in the, uh, locked in ice. It says locked in ice all winter intentionally. I don't know why, but it, that's what they, the caps, you know, subtitle said. Um, so, yeah, not a lot on this one. Just some quick little bird sketches. Then this one was Vancouver, uh, Inside Passage, uh, Vancouver Island, British Columbia. So again, there's the sea um, seal heads popping up out of the water there. And then I put all the description of the different colors and the birds. So 
Yeah, thanks, Devin. I really, I mean, to me, this is really informative to anyone that wants to, you know, learn to sketch or keep a sketchbook or anything. I know this is not full. It's only about maybe 10 more pages, not even that maybe. Um, but like I started, I think in February, did I start? yeah, I started in February. Now we're into March. <clears throat> so yeah, little boats and just the tree lines. And then this is the water here. And so it's far away, closer, closer, closer than the seals are right there in the water. And this one is Moose in the Morning. And this was Baxter State Park in Maine. So they were showing first the sunrise. And then they were showing Moose swimming through the water. Hi, Z. Zandra, I showed my, you inspired me to pull out my old, uh, my old, uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how old these are. The ones with the chipboard and the big um, poly <laughs> posts. And uh, so I'm going to redo, I'm going to take these out. Oh, baby, you want to play with that? You want to play with that? I know. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's not. So I'm going to redo that, Xandra. I showed it earlier. Okay, so you're casting a shadow. You're casting a shadow on my book, baby. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down, my little cloud. So, yeah, uh, different moose. Again, you got to draw fast because they're moving. This is all moving targets, <laughs> moving drawing targets. Uh, so, yeah, this uh, we're still in March here. This was Yellowstone geysers. Again, not a lot to do with the geysers. <laughs> just, just some quick steam coming up. And there was one green area here. And then the rest was just the geysers. So that's what I just drew, the geysers that morning. <laughs> hi, Terry Lynn. Anybody else I missed coming in? I said hi to Devin, I think. Then this was bison before breakfast. And this was in Yellowstone. This was another day. No, no, baby. Leave my, leave my lights alone. You don't need to chew on the fairy lights. Okay. So uh, this was uh, just drawing some bison. Again, moving bison. <laughs> then this was um, in Maine, Great Salt Bay in Maine. It was like a lake. So there's the sunrise. Baby, leave the fairy lights alone, honey. You can't chew on those. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> they're kind of moving a little bit, so she wants to play with them. And um, so this was a, a pond with ducks and geese. And I just wrote notes. And here's they, they were standing on a bridge and looking over the bridge at a school of fish going under the bridge. So I quickly drew the school of fish going under the bridge. And then this one was in Florida. This was at Crystal River Preserve State Park in Florida. No, baby, don't chew on the lights, honey. No. <laughs> Get down. Oh. So um, this was in Florida. So uh, this one was titled Tropical Palms. I wrote down their, their title. And uh, so I just wrote down the about the palms that grow to 70 feet, live 70 years. And then um, this one was, this was page two of this page. This was the Woodstock um, Billings Farm in Vermont. And so here's horses. Quick little sketch. What do you, what do you know how close I'm to Crystal? No, I do not know that, Tina. And then uh, here's some horses. And then here's some horses and cows. Just quick little sketches. There's the eye, the tail. See, they zoomed in. They zoomed in on these uh, details. So you get a second or so to draw them, you know, in different parts of the cow. But mostly they're moving around, so you just got to be quick. Uh, I just turned my heater on. I just turned my heater off. Hi, Herbie. And um, so, yeah, that was uh, that was the horses. And this one was just... I wasn't trying to draw these. They're, they're stick figures. This is um, on Golden Gate Bridge. They had um, they had some people doing Tai Chi. So I just kind of wanted to get their poses. 
I wasn't trying to draw them, but just their poses, you know. So I, I drew their poses there. Um, and then this one is uh, continued from here. This is in ha uh, Halo Bay, Alaska. And uh, so here's the indigo blue herons. And then here's some the bears. This is in uh, Alaska. So they're just coming out of hibernation. Bear babies may stay with mom for three to five years. There's one laying down close up and then just moving around. The brown bears awake after seven months of hibernation. Seven months of hibernation. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you probably have some good places to go visit then, um, Tina. And then let's see, this one was also Cook Inlet, Alaska. So again, starts out with the sunrise real far away. Then there's the islands. James Cook uh, named it in 1778. And then different foliage. And then here are harbor seals in different places in the water. Some laying on the beach and then they're going through the water. Oh, here's the first sunrise right there. Oh, maybe this is the whole thing, the first sunrise there. And then let's see. That was not having anything to do with this. Did I have any more of these? I think that's it as far as Sunrise Earth. So anyway, so let me put this book back in so I can remove my new sketchbook that's holding up the shelf. So let's get that back in. Take this one out. Without knocking over the show. Oh, now I can't get that one out. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it. I don't think I can get it back out without it being taller. Let's see. Ugh. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Got that out. All right. Let's see. So, yeah. There's that. And let me fix my fairy lights so the cats don't chew on them. All right. So, what else do I have to show? Uh, I think I've done all the show and tell. So let me see if I can find the brown paper to sketch on. Well, I have some cut. I thought I did. And it might be in my closet in a portfolio. Hang on. Let me look. I have a bunch of already cut paper. I can put my hand on it. Let's see. Where did I put it? This is all cut and flattened. But am I going to be able to find it? Uh, no. My freshly flattened paper. So I guess I'll just use... Um, tone tan paper because I can't find it. So let's just get out a tone tan sketchbook. Now we won't go too big. <clears throat> we'll just go, we'll stick with uh, 9 by 12. I just, you, whenever I use this, I just tear it out depending on if I'm doing a, a portrait or a sketch or whatever. All right, let's see. And then I got a I got a dilemma. So maybe the person is watching this. I don't know if they're watching. So I got a commission from someone off of Facebook, drawing the grandchildren, okay, in in Facebook Messenger. So we interacted back and forth for some communication, prices, you know, everything. Many, many, many back and forth uh, Facebook messages. And uh, so, and I was going to, and they sent the pictures. I have the pictures. I have them on my iPad, my phone. So um, started working on the commission, got them both laid out. They're about halfway done. So I was going to message them and say, I got, they're, they're about halfway done. I don't like to leave people hanging, if especially if it's going to take a little longer. I did tell him, I said, now look, I've got two or three things ahead of you. So the, he says, there's no deadline. There's no hurry. So, um, so I go to message him in messenger. He's not there. I, I can't, I can't even really remember his name. 
<laughs> but because I would have recognized it in Messenger, but he's not in my Messenger feed anymore. I don't know what happened. It's just gone. Our conversation, our chat. And, and I mean, if something happened, if he would have deleted it or something, I would still have it on my end and it's gone. So I don't know. I can't get in touch with him. That's the only way I knew him is through Facebook Messenger. So I don't know what to do. So if you're watching this <laughs> and I'm drawing your grandchildren, message me again because it's gone. It's just, I mean, and I went back like months and this was only a few weeks and it's just gone. The whole message is gone. I don't know what happened. I know. It's just, <laughs> that's just weird. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Maybe we'll do, um, I'm not, I'm not going to, I mean, I'll do detail in pencil, but maybe we'll just do, um, maybe we'll just do um, something in paint and we'll see. If y'all have something else you want to do, let me know. Let me see if I can get this to lay flat. <clears throat> well, I'll just put this on top of this. That will, then I can draw it like this. Did you find who sent them? No, I don't know who sent the makeup brushes, and I don't know who sent me the uh, the uh, these little things either. Little holders. But I have one for pencil and one for paintbrush. Don't know who sent them. No word. Oh, have it in you. Even if people profile get taken down. Right. That's what I thought. So if something happened on their end, even if they deleted me, even accidentally, which I can't imagine that he would do that because I'm working on his project. Um, it's it's I would still have it. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, Amy, I don't want to post messages on my Facebook for that now. Uh -uh. No, I'm not doing that. So I, what I figure is he'll message me at some point and go, are you still working on my grandchildren? <laughs> you know? So that's what I'm thinking. But I can't, I told Hopper, he's gone. Gone right out of the Facebook Messenger. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay, so let's see here. Maybe I'll use my uncle's. I'm going to pull out his uh, box here and use some of his Conti crayon. They're not official Conti. They're Royal Land Nickel, but, you know, same kind of thing. So let's see. Maybe I'll use mm -mm, to draw them. Oh, uh, when I gave it to her friend, she said, oh, that would be lovely pink. <laughs> Rachel, oh my gosh. You, I would have said, well, I've got the pattern. If you'd like to spend the next six months doing that, that'd be just cheeky. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rachel, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. Yeah, well, I would still have the messages in my messages, Herbie. Yeah. So anyway. All right. So let's see what we're going to do here. And then I'll need a, I don't have a white one in here. I'll have to dig out a white one. Let me get, I'll get my box out. <laughs> Where'd I put it? Oh, here it where did I put the box? Hang on, guys. I'm moving stuff around. Should I put it under there? Hang on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My light. My light. Hang on, guys. I got a fan and a light, and I'm all tangled up. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. I'm looking for the little box, which I can't find now. Did I put it under here? I don't know what I did with it. Nope. When I cleaned out this corner, I moved certain things around, and now I can't find it. What do I do with it? Where would I have put it? Oh, probably over here. Wait a minute. I'm still still looking. I, I organize myself so much that I can't find anything. There it is. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> Craft a lunch. So I have the same box, but I have it like not as neat and as organized as it is. Uh, yeah. So here's all my Conti crayons. I I would all that to get one of these little white pieces of Conti crayon. <laughs> okay. All right. So now. Oh my goodness. I'll not be doing another. Yeah, I guess I, I guess not, Rachel. Um, you know, I used to work for a cross stitch company and uh, you know, but I did the book designing, not I, I mean I did do cross stitching on an emergency basis, but I don't like to sew. But um mom and grandma did cross stitches for years, years and years. And I still have tons of grandmas. I got one of mom's Amish um Amish designs up hanging on my uh, one of my walls in the bedroom but um yeah they cross stitch for years and years and mom had a big one of those huge tub full of cross stitch stuff which I donated to her friends that cross stitch when you know when I cleaned out her house and uh just kept I kept one of her um the frame that you, you know, move the, the twist with one of her uh, things on that frame. But I gave all her cross stitch uh, canvases and books and all that to her friends that would use it because I'm one, I'm not going to use it. Yeah, there's a big, a big ASMR for Rachel, right, Leona? <laughs> oh, yeah, Rachel, you have some of my books back from the 80s. Oh. Hi, Faithful Maz. Remember what kind of iPad? Um, I have the iPad Pro. I have the Pro. It's big. It's like this big. It's like 13, I don't know, 12, 13 inches. It's the Pro. It's the Pro. And it's probably about two years old now, Faithful Maz. Yeah, iPad Pro. <clears throat> oh, tatting, Tina. Oh, my gosh. Tatting is, I can't even imagine tatting lace that would be maddening for me so all right so let's just see here maybe we'll just start with uh let's see do i just want to start with the gray so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sketch out one of these quails uh, i'm going to do the one that's in front and i'm going to do it bigger so i'm going to like here's well maybe i should start with white because y'all aren't going to be able to see that you're not going to be able to see it and i'm going to end up painting it so um so like if this is his little um what do you call it here uh what does anybody know what that's called on the quail is um is it called a hood no what's that called that part of his and that's going to be way too big because he won't fit on this page so if I do his head like this, let's see, just here. <clears throat> I just want to make sure he's going to fit on the page at this stage. What's that thing called on his head? It's probably in one of those books that Uncle Gary, <laughs> I have from Uncle Gary, right? Uh, so anyway, and what's nice about this is it erases, you know, <coughs> my voice today, gosh. You can erase, erase uh, this Conti crayon. Thingamajig. Yeah, Annie Rowe. <laughs> Thingamajig. So, but what you got to do is make sure. So then you don't want it. If you start drawing something and, and let's just say I drew it and he came down, not in this case, because I'm planning that a little bit. But uh, if, if you draw a person and I noticed this with, um, Van Gogh, in his beginning stages of his drawing, it looked like he was running out of, um, like if he was drawing a person, <clears throat> he'd draw the person, he would start drawing and sketching the person, and then he wouldn't have room for the legs, so his, the little legs were little stubby little legs. Did you ever notice that on his paintings? So his, um, because he was running out of room, 
it's better if you're running out of room, just go off the page. Don't try to make somebody with stubby little legs. <laughs> so what I want to do here is I'm going to make sure that, like, here's the bottom, right? So I want to make sure that he fits. So his little legs are going to be in here and then his little tummy. You know, I want to make sure he fits. <laughs> it's called a top knot. Is that what it's called? A top knot, head plume, top knot. Thanks, guys. Okay, so, so I want to just kind of get his body in here. So I just want to make sure he fits. So <clears throat> he or she, I don't know. Is it the? Do they both have that, or is that like the peacock is the pretty bird, and the uh, female doesn't have all the beauty, beautiful florals and all that? So it's something like this. Now, this is just a sketch because I'm going to get out the paints. We're going to paint. <clears throat> something like this. See, now his, I don't, the floor or the ground's coming up higher now, so. <clears throat> something like that and you can always and I and I I forget to tell y'all sometimes to do this but you if you want to make sure you've drawn something correctly proportionally turn it upside down and look at it and you'll be able to tell like right now I can tell that his little tummy needs to be a little more rounded right under there it needs to come up a little like that see so you can tell by turning something over whether you have it correct or not okay because <clears throat> your eye is not focused on oh it's a bird it's a plane it's superman you're focused on um it's focused on the correct proportions when you turn it upside down. So if you're never sure of something, turn it upside down. And I think his little face could be a little fatter. So I'm going to make his face just a little fatter. Not too much, though, because then his head looks like it's huge. I think that's about good. That That's about good. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to use acrylic paint. So... Um, <clears throat> Um, I have my uh, little palettes that um, Juanita gave me. And it's stuck up under there somewhere. This is a palette I usually use when I'm working by myself because it's, I can put everything on it. But for you guys, I'm going to just work on a little, let's see, because I don't have my coffee lids anymore. I changed coffee brands. So since I changed coffee brand, brands, I don't have those black lids. So I'm just going to use one of these. This will work. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to get out. A few colors. So I'm going to get out some black, some, a little bit of white, and I can make the gray in the middle. And then I need some gray blue. <clears throat> a little of this, and probably a little bit of brown. That's probably all I'll need. Probably all I need for. Um, I'll go with a little more sienna brown. <clears throat> All right, we'll see if I need anything else if I do. I need, do need a little bit of yellow for this, a little bit of yellow, yellow ochre in his face there. That should be enough. All right. The males are supposed to have more dramatic plume, but the females also have them. Okay, thanks, Tina. Oh, hi, Judy. Hi, Annie Rowe. Anybody else I'm missing coming in? <laughs> Harley. Oh, my God. Y'all put things in caps if you want me to see it. That's that's funny right there, Arlene. <laughs> oh, put it in caps if y'all are talking to me, guys. <laughs> Because, you know, I don't see, it goes fast. All right, so let's see. Let me get my little brush holder over here. Yes, this thing is awesome. Okay, so let's see what I can, uh, 
I want just a small, something kind of old and scruffy. That one's a little scruffy. And then I'll bring my water over closer. And uh, my stained, as Janet likes to call it, my Petri dish. But it's really just stained, Janet. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, and I keep it on top of a paper towel so I can clean and dab, clean and dab. And I can also put some water here in one of these little, little, little cups here. And I need a baby wipe. <clears throat> and then all the chalk can be erased later. That is the new one, Janet. Janet, this is the new one. Uh-oh, no, baby, going to have to get down. Sorry, going to have to get down. This is the other one. <laughs> My boy cat. That is that is the new one, Janet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see here. And I just usually clean my brush. I clean my brush as I go with the baby wipe, or don't clean it at all, depending. Like with, if I'm doing some white now, I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, I have to uh, clean it <laughs> to keep a nice white. But um, yeah. Let's come come on down here a little further with it. <laughs> and I will need a pointy brush too. I might use this. No, no. Let's see, a little pointy, a little pointy one. No. I like my white, my white, um, I don't know why they're just a little stiffer or something. Okay, so let's get a little bit of gray blue. Oh, let's go ahead and zoom in a little. Let's, at least one. That's better. <laughs> All right, so let me just let me uh, kind of concentrate for just a second to get the shapes in here. By now, I would have my sleeve. In. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep it uh, away. You know, try to keep it away. Little eyes, right about there. Which I'll do a lot of this detail in in pencil. I just want to block in. I just kind of want to block it in right here. I don't know if I'm zoomed in close enough. Now I'm going to just clean my brush and my baby wipe and pick up some of this yellow. And I'll dry it, then I can erase uh, lines. Okay. So y'all have any questions, put it in caps. Just thought uh, it'd be fun to work on. See, I'm usually when I work on the art scroll, I'll do I do them twice as big. You know, do them huge. So what's everybody else working on? What'd y'all do over the weekend? I had to put in a new stove. Well, I didn't have to put in a stove. The stove guy put in a stove. <laughs> we had to go buy one, though. Janet, what are you going to do today? It's 
Let's get a little bit of brown in there. Janet streams at one. Eastern. I hope that's chalk and not paint because I didn't really want that under there. We'll see. Lighten this up. Get a little bit of browny tan color. We're going to play taboo while I finish the graphics from the box. No, you need to do Pictionary. Pictionary is so much more fun. <laughs> You do what you want, but Pictionary is so fun, Janet. I used to own appliance stores and had a flashback. I'm <laughs> Judy. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to kind of base this in. I want to do most of this with pencil. Okay, now let's get the blue and the white. A little whiter. A little grayer. Maybe there. Let's put a little white in there. There we go. Nope, it needs to be lighter. <clears throat> Does anyone else wish they'd leave the time? Oh, yeah, pick one and stick with it. I know, right? And there's really no reason for us to have daylight savings time anymore. I mean, really, you know, but I guess old habits die hard. Let's see. Let's get a little darker back in here. Just a little darker. And I could be using a bigger brush. I'm just enjoying taking my time. <clears throat> so, any questions or comments? Anything? Put in caps. All right, let's see. Let's get some more of the dark. Get a tad of water. And more blue. keeping some of it a little bit dry brush looking for now I always say why don't they just also oh, there is right there <laughs> I don't know I don't know okay let's see where I want the brown feathers to start in there. And I'll just go in and do a solid color here and go back for the 
little feathers. Trying to keep it a little scruffy just to keep it a little more not so perfect. I want it to be scruffy. Then I'll dry it and I'll move, um, get erase all the white. Um, chalk. You, Judy. I might have done him a little fatter if I was inventing him. <laughs> I mean, I think the last quail that I did for Lady Jan, it was a little chubby one. I did him real chubby. I liked it. Okay, a little more dark up under here. <clears throat> All right, let's make a nice brownie color. That looks good. Let's just get this blocked in. A little more brown. Where these feathers are going to be. Okay, Arlene. All right, let's do some tan little feet, legs. This one you see his little back, little that little hook thing on the back of his leg. This one you don't see it. You don't know if it's just behind there or. All right, that's good. I'll do the toenails. I'll do the toenails with uh, what do you call it? A uh, pencil. Okay. All right. Let me dry this and let's see what we got when we uh, take off the pen, the white. Mm. 
pencil. Let me brush. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Abigail. I said hi to you, Terry. You got some drops there of water. that's dry we'll find out <laughs> now let's get rid of the chalk sketch I don't know if I'll put them on the ground or just have just him we'll see our start there's our base <clears throat> you like to brush this brush I don't even I can't even tell you 40 years old maybe <laughs> it's an old drafts and look at the look at the brush. <laughs> look at it oh it's old as Methuselah so <laughs> all right so let me put away my uh Conti crayons uh well faux Contis <laughs> I think I'll keep a white one in that one case because there's no white in there. Okay, so now let's see where we're going to go from here. All right. Let's see. Do I want to do some more pencil? I mean, some more paint, some more pencil. Pencil. I love it when people say it like that. Pencil. They have accents like, I don't know, uh, in Brazil <laughs> or Philippines. Uh, Christopher, do you say pencil? I love to hear that, pencil. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm a little distracted. Okay, so let's see. Let me move my brushes out of the way here. And let's get out my pencil. Pencils. <clears throat> And this is why you need a desk journal. This right here, let me get rid of that water. This is why you need a desk journal, because then you can put all that extra paint that you didn't use in a desk journal, which I have some other ones I could throw it in. I have been working in a little bit more, um, you know, turning glue books into scenes and stuff like that. Maybe I'll show you that after a while. I'm working in this one. <clears throat> I'm working in this one now. So it's got uh, it's got a lot going on in this one. We'll see. I'm always working on something. I've always got multiple things going on. All right. So let me get my tray here. Trays. And see what colors I need. All right, Rachel. We're going to be digging through pencils. <laughs> I don't need, I know that I'm going to need all these colors, but I'm going to pull them. 
just so that they're ready. That's the same color. Slight gray, yeah. That's probably all I need. Maybe a couple of browns. A dark brown and maybe a sienna. There's all. Okay. We're going to roll with these. Let's make some space on the table. All righty. How about these? How Sunday <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right. How are we doing with the camera? Let's see. All right. Do you like that sound too? <laughs> all right. There we go. Nope, it's still crooked. Okay, hang on. I got to fix the camera. All righty. Let's see what we can do in an hour or so. All right. I'm going to need something for our eyeball. Let's see. Let me just grab a... Where his eye wants to be. It's going to be right there. <clears throat> All right. Where's my sharpeners? And I did use my little... Um, what do you call it? Uh, bowl to sharpen. What? My cat's up on the uh, behind my neck, Oliver. Now he's on the table. You're gonna have to get down since I get done sharpening. You can't sit over there. You'll be distracting me. Do you hear him in my markers up there? I'm just sharpening all the pencils I pulled. Okay. I'm going to start black. <laughs> He's being good right now. I want you to be able to see both things. All right, so let's see here. <sighs> can y'all see? Now, I can zoom in, but then you won't see my reference. It's up to y'all. Do you want me to zoom in so you can see me coloring it better? What do y'all want? Good like it is? Okay. So if y'all have any questions or anything, ask, because I'm just going to be, you know, in the zone if you don't. Have anything you want me to talk about? I think we didn't do anything over the weekend to talk about because we just bought a new stove and enjoyed our new floors. <laughs> so we just didn't do anything over the weekend this weekend. Didn't go to Denise's, didn't go to the bookstore, didn't do any of that. We 
I just pulled the Sharpie. Oh, 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 oh. I pulled the Sharpie one. I could pull the uh, Posca too. I need to also read out of uh, either today or Wednesday the book, The um, Thousand One Ways to Be Creative, and Rachel's book. <clears throat> that she got to supplement it because we're going to run out of gonna run out of uh, things on that book soon what is it Oliver just sitting there being a good boy Just sitting there being a good boy, watching the pencils move, watching the pencils move. <sighs> and I hear a little bit of a purring. <laughs> I need a little bit of lighter color right in here. And a little light blue or light gray. All these little details is what's fun to me. But you have to have that base. You have to have that something, something to work on top of. His nose is a little, his beak might have got a little pointy. I don't know if I can erase that or not. Where's my electric eraser? Now let's see what the cat does when I turn this on. <clears throat> is this quail getting cut out and collage? No, no, faithfulness. <laughs> Asking for it. <laughs> no, he's not going to get cut out. <laughs> I probably would tear him out and put him in that my big oversized sketchbook just to have a place for him to live. I don't ever keep really keep anything in my tone tan. I don't have a tone tan sketchbook. It's more of a, um, I, if I do something in the tone tan, I just tear it out and put it in something else. This little dot, right? Let's get rid of that little dot there. <clears throat> See, his little beak went a little long. You just going to sit there and stare, baby? Hmm? Make a little bit of a glower glower a little bit highlighted areas on him here it's really not in the picture but i can do what i want they could stand out just a little mm. 
You're going to go on down? Okay, go on down. For a moment, I thought you were talking to me till you got to the <laughs> Stay on my head, <laughs> slapping me in the face. They wake up Hubster. They don't wake up me in the morning. They wake him up at like 4, 4, 4.30. <laughs> Hi, Fernando. Able to speak Portuguese morning one. Yeah, wait, what did I say? Portuguese because I'm Brazilian. Otherwise, I'm not sure if I would be persistent to learn it. How do you say pencil? When you say it in English, Fernando, do you say pencil? I love that. Pencil. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Pencil. <clears throat> See, this takes a while. If I want to make it realistic, it's going to take me a bit, you know, to do all the little, <laughs> the little, um, what do you call it? Uh, feathers. If I want it to look realistic. Which people kind of expect you, well, expect me to do it that way. I don't always do it that way, but <laughs> depending on how much time we have. So I'm going to get this brown feather like on top of the base. And then I'll put all those little teeny white feathers. I don't know if you can see those little white feathers. Look, see all the little white feathers? <clears throat> so I'm going to get the brown base here. Can y'all see it's making progress? I hope y'all can see it's making progress. I want to try to get as much of it done. I don't know if I can finish this in an hour, but I'll, po I'll post it. And I'll post a picture of the book, too, that I got it out of. The cover of the book. It's very relaxing. I mean, when you're streaming, well, when I'm streaming, I feel like I have to kind of hurry. And that's that goes for color books or anything that takes, you know, some time. Um, because, you know, you want to finish as much as you can while you're streaming. <clears throat> Lucky you, you then do you. But it feels no because he gets up that early. <laughs> the cats know it's about time for daddy to get up. He gets up that early and walks every morning as long as weather permitting. And I usually wake up about probably more around. I mean, sometimes it's four thirty, but more than not, it's five. It's five. And he always already has a coffee made. And usually he's already gone for a walk and back. And he doesn't walk on the weekends, but he gets up that early on the weekends too. He's just a more he's always been a morning person. He's from his military. He's always been a morning person. He feels like uh, John Wayne, you're burning daylight. <laughs> burning daylight if you're not up that early. I'll hold it up here so you can see this in just a minute. I know you probably can't see the detail. Nothing in caps. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, usually, you know, I try to, if I'm doing a person, I try to, or a, an animal close up with the eyes, I try to get the eyes in pretty soon because people get um, like freaked out when there's just like a vacant eye. It's like, you know, they're not alive or something. So, um, but this has got the most detail here. You know, these feathers don't really have a lot of detail. They're not individually uh, painted out or penciled out. Let's see. It's so long. Cats are mid at six a.m. Pencil because our L sounds like the L sound years, but we do put Y sound at the end. Every end sounds like catty, doggy, edgy, pencily. <laughs> Would that be pen pencily, <laughs> Fernando? <laughs> okay, so now I've got this blue in here. So let's see. I think I need a light blue. Let's go with the light. Kind of a gray color here. That might be better. Might need a little more dark in there. Let's go with this. No, it's not gray enough. It needs to be more gray. I did have to move my herb, well, Hubster did, moved it into the garage, my herb um, tower, my herb tree. Because of the freeze, the freeze. <clears throat> <clears throat> you really don't even see the feather detail it's just kind of a dry brush look Because usually when y'all see me draw animals, I'm drawing a, from a photograph of an animal, not someone's painting. But because my uncle sent me these books, I said, well, let's just use, let's just go for something out of this book. <clears throat> it's looking better than the <laughs> thanks Debbie well I've added my own little flair to it you know all right let's see what we can do about sketching in the, the feathers the white feathers here let's see what we can do here Okay, that's pretty close. We've got some white under here. All right, let's 
see. You probably won't see some of this right off because I'm just kind of blocking it in. And I don't know if this person, like, you know, did it all the feathers anatomically or color correct or how many feathers are, you know, when you do carving like my uncle did, he would have had to know how many feathers are on each row of the breast and underneath and all that, you know. So let's go back to the. All right, let's get down here on the. Let me sharpen. I think it's the speed your pencil is going is mesmerizing. I find it very interesting. If I'm honest, if I go silent, I fall asleep. Well, that's what ASMR does. It makes you go to sleep. <laughs> Jeez, it makes it simple and easy. I try it will look like, well, <laughs> Chewbacca. I mean, it's, this isn't like my first bird I've ever drawn. It's not my first animal I've ever drawn. Y'all know, y'all know, you know. <laughs> I think I'll go ahead and get, before I work on those legs, let me go ahead and get right up under all these white little feathers. Because then after I get in the, the black over, let me go ahead and zoom in one. Let's see if I can try to get y'all both in the, let's see if I can get both. There we go. Um, once I get these black um, under the feathers in, now you don't really see it on here, but I'm going to put in individual little feathers on top, the white. And also, when you're doing this and practicing, like you saw my sketchbook I just showed you, that one from 2009, you can draw things quick and and uh, not, you know, that realistic. It's a lot, it's just a lot of practice, you know. And I pen, color pencils are my main medium. So I'm used to using, that's what I do portraits and things. And so, you know, I'm used to using color pencils too. So just saying. <clears throat> and there's a little bit of featherage coming in there and then down here a couple like that okay now now let me go back with the white i'll go ahead and go in with the let's just go in with the sharpie all right let's get it going here so th they don't have little individual little feathers on here on the sample one but i'm gonna throw in you'll see i'll hold it up close in just a minute i'll put a little bit more shadow in the brown you can always kind of tap you know touch it and move the white so it's not a harsh line But yeah, thank you, Aunt Edie, for sending me all of Uncle Gary's animal books and bird books and carving books. I don't know if any of y'all do any, have any of y'all ever done any carving? Wood carving? Decoy carving? And again, you don't have to leave anything this bright white. I can go over this white with like a off white if I want to knock it back. But I'm thinking it looks kind of looks kind of cool and dramatic, so I'm kind of liking it this bright, but we'll see.
so you can see I put like little individual kind of feathers and then I can go back over them. But what I want to do now is take my dark brown and get in here and give it a little bit more. I'll try to finish it today though and post it on Instagram. But I won't finish it this morning. Okay, then we got some down here. This needs to come down just a little, I think. And let's go ahead and put a little bit of brown under these white areas here. It's saying you're already 90% done. Mm, no. Probably maybe 75% done. So I haven't done the legs yet, the feet. <clears throat> Let's get some little toenails on there. There's a name for that back claw, too, but I can't think of what it is. And I got some white speckled areas. Do claw, is that what it's called, Rachel? Thanks, Terry. Sorry I'm not talking that much, guys. I'm just trying to get her done. Let me sharpen that black. What is it? And the, the feet on this one is not as dark. Doesn't have as much of a high contrast. I love my contrast, so... I'm putting more black into the feet than, than they have. Same thing for up under here. I want this darker. In between the toes. And then a little bit of, knock that back a little there. Something like this. Oh, well, that's what they got. They got it drawn on the back. <laughs> Kind of draw on the back of both of them, so I don't know. Uh, let's see, do I want to put any kind of anything down here? 
some kind of grasses or something. I don't know if I do or not. All right, let's blend that in a little. <clears throat> I'm still wondering what time the cats woke Hubster up with the time change. Two. Like two or three. They still, they kept their time. <laughs> they kept their time. I don't know that he got up, though. He probably made them wait. But they don't, they don't uh, usually leave them alone, you know, until he, till he gets up. But, uh. Okay, let's smooth out a little bit of this. Let's put a little bit of softening to some of these feathers. Soften those just a little. Do a little tan. Let's see. I need another tan color. Just a little bit of an off white. Let's test this one. Just to kind of give it a little softness to those feathers. There's still a little touch of the bright white showing. All right, let me check and see if there's anything. Did I miss anything? I did go back, guys, and watch the chat, skim through the chat, see if you know, see if I missed any new people and stuff. Because I like don't like to miss new people, so um, I do go back and uh, and check chat. I do try to catch as much of it as I can while I'm here, but I don't like to miss new people. So thanks, newbies, lurkers. Let me get, let me get down here and some of these feathers. Down in here. So you need a little bit more stuff going on here. Looks like a flapper with <laughs> uh, we've drawn animals where we've put where we've put uh, clothes on them and made them funny and boots and shoes and those are fun to do. I usually do a lot of those around the holidays. You know, we do those usually around the holidays. Let's kind of blend the, this kind of wing in just a little more. <clears throat> but I hope y'all have enjoyed today and looking at my uncle's books that he, well, my Aunt Edie sent me from him and some of the other projects. Xandra, if you, I don't know if Xandra's still here, but if you missed it, Xandra, go back. This needs to. Really needs to kind of looks like to me like it needs to come down a little bit, but that's okay. Um, if you missed it, Zandra, your inspiration for the uh, uh, in index or Rolodex, flex decks, whatever they're called, using it to uh, put cards and stuff in. I'm going to try to maybe do some of those based off of your. Uh, new inspiration i'm just going to take my cards out of the old one and do make new cards <laughs> uh yeah i know uh, i know i was so glad that mom was able to go up and visit him uh before he got too sick and uh, she she went up there all by herself she flew up from uh 
She went from San Antonio. She had to change planes, I think, in Phoenix and went flew up to uh, Washington. And they got to spend a few days together. And that was the last time they saw each other. And then she passed away in August. And I think he passed away in September, October. And in November, November, December-ish. I'm not sure the exact date Uncle Gary passed away. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of greens. And I'm going to put a little bit of green and grass down here. So let me just get a, a couple of greens here, an olive green and a... I'll just go with these two. I know, Rachel. That is true. And thanks, Rachel. Always puts in a little... Well, not always, but most times she puts in a little prayer for you know, everybody, because that's the way she rolls. All right, so I'm just going to do this, probably put a little swoop with my finger. Got my baby wipe here. And then I'll just put some grasses in there, something like that. So I'm not quite done, though. I hate to put a grass over the top of his body when I'm not quite done. Maybe I'll put a little bit. Let's put a little bit of this greeny gold in here. It needs a little bit more color. And a little darkening of those. Let's put a little bit darker brown in here. And a little brighter white. I could use the Sharpie, but I'm just going to go and do this. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I want one more. That might be enough. Maybe one coming up over his body. And then just a little bit of the light green on there. Sit it down there. Just enough. All right, let me dry that. Mm. 
All right, what do y'all think? Is that okay? Let's back out and fix the lighting. That we got a little. There we go. Let's see. There we go. I think it's okay for an hour and a half. <laughs> Bye, Fernando. I think his little tail feathers might need to be just a little longer here. And maybe just a little darker. A little more. Something like that. But anyway, we're going to call it done. We're going to call it done, even though I could mess with some more of its little underbelly and uh, give it a little bit more oomph there, but I think I'll leave him. Let's see, I need a green. I hope y'all enjoyed the show today, and uh, hopefully you'll be here Wednesday. I want to give away some. Uh, I'm going to give away my green art cards for the olive green, my year of color. We're going to give those away on uh, Wednesday, the day before. I think it's the day before uh, St. Patrick's Day. All right. Thanks, guys. So, yeah, I might work just a little bit more white in these feathers right in here just to kind of give it just a little bit more brightness in some of those areas and just kind of tap it down just to make it not quite so um, lost in the lost in the weeds not <laughs> so much. Just give it a little bit more. And I'll, I'll post a picture of the cover of this book. So we'll give credit to the person that did this. So that just that little bit of extra white does make a difference. At least it does to me. I hear you, baby. It's that little bit of extra fluff. You know, the extra fluffiness of those white feathers like that. Okay, I'm going to quit. I'm going to go ahead and sign it. I will sign it. And uh, give the person credit in the... For the book. I'll show the front of the book again. Okay, so it's Drawing Birds with Colored Pencils, Karen or Karen Pool. And it's all a book on demos and how to draw them. We I showed it a little while ago or earlier. With the colors you can use. And she uses Derwent pencils. And hers is all pencil. I started with the base of paint. But uh, yeah, so I'll show I'll show the picture of the book as well. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head out. Um, I'm looking around, see if there's any other questions or comments or anything else. Um, oh, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Maseki. Bye, CB. Hi, Scrap Girl. Kathy C. 
All right, guys, y'all have a great day. We'll see you at Janet's. I don't know if she's close by where I can click on her name. So y'all can uh, make sure and go over to hers in about an hour and 15 minutes. Ja well, Janet, where are you? I want to click on your name so everybody can see it. But Janet M. Young, y'all can find her. You haven't been to her channel before. And as she comes on at one, thank you, Icy. Thank you, Debbie. All right, guys. Well, we will uh, see you at Janet's then. Oh, good. I'm glad you fell asleep. I'm glad you fell asleep, Tony. Because <laughs> that's, you know, can be nice and chill. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>